Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro, where we serve it up hot and fresh every day. Come on in, sit down. Let's study the Bible together today. We're looking at Psalm 119 in the hay section. That's right. We're going to make hay all this week, 33 through 40. Those are the verses that we are looking at this week. And hey, listen, before we get into the hay section, let me uh, just advertise to you I just republished my first book, which was Small Does Not Mean Struggling. I've published, I've republished this in a new edition for the Kindle. So if you have a Kindle and you're, you are or you know a small church pastor, get this for them or for yourself. This is a book, uh, Stories About Small Church Ministry. I hope you'll go out to Amazon, check it out on the Kindle page. Small does not mean struggling. Just put that in, or my name, David B. Smith. You'll find it. And I appreciate you uh, considering it for your digital library. Today we're looking at Psalm 119, beginning in verse 33. All this week, the hay section, and again, this is in praise of God's Word. Each one of these sections has its own character. It has its own flavor. Uh, The Lord is teaching us things through these different sections, and this week is no different. We're looking at personal resolutions and urgent requests that we find here in this uh, section of the Scripture, beginning in verse 33 through verse 40. Now, you're going to say to me, okay, Pastor, but you've you've seen, we've seen this all along, right? Ever since the first section, the Olive section, we've seen personal resolutions and urgent requests. But I think here, In this particular section of the scripture, of this psalm, we're going to have it a little more concentrated than maybe we've had. Like last week, we focused on the way, you know, that was the theme of that section. And I think this week, we're going to focus a little bit more on these personal resolutions and urgent requests. So we're going to begin here in verse 33. Let me read that one for you. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Verse 33 uh, sets up for us what we're going to have for the rest of the week. First of all, we have the urgent request. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes. We have these imperatives that show up over and over again in this particular section here, these, these eight verses. We have it, teach me, give me, make me, incline my heart, turn away mine eyes, quicken thou me. So we have these imperatives that just come like, that's like popcorn popping in a bowl. Teach me is the one that begins the thing. And now an imperative is a command, but when we're saying this to the Lord, we know it's not a command. We're not commanding him. Rather, we're urgently requesting of him. Have you ever had a prayer that was just so urgent, you just blurted it out as a do this now, you know, kind of thing? Well, that's the idea here. He is urgently requesting of the Lord all of these things, because they come to us in this form of the imperative. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes. So he's asking the Lord, he's making this urgent request for him to teach. Now, we had back in verse 26, the statutes were mentioned there. Teach, or we had the idea of the statutes, and there it was again, teach me your statutes. Now it's teach me the way of your statutes. And then we have the personal resolution which is, I shall keep it unto the end. Jonathan Edwards famously wrote his 72 resolutions. Here we have resolutions that the psalmist is making. I shall. You teach me this, and I shall. This is, my, this is what I resolve to do. I shall keep it until the end. Until the end of life, and unto the end of the time that you're done with me. I will keep your statutes. So this sets up for us what we're going to have the rest of the week. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 34 and 35 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.